Okay, we're just leaving Edgenville now. And we head to the fairy ring. As soon as you get there, run as fast as you can south. And you'll you head a little bit east and you'll see a little um, teleport thing there. That, so you can jump on a boat. They'll take it down to the river. Take some super energy pots or a pot when you go down there. That way you can get the trips done faster. Now set up your um, magic dart to kill Doric. That's the first one you should kill. And you should always put your melee protect prayer on, otherwise he'll kill you. And you don't want to lose all your stuff. Sometimes you can find him in a tunnel, which is a bit of a pain because that way when this happens you have to have another prayer pot because you have to um, take the prayer pot in the tunnel um, otherwise it can kill you. Because you run out of prayer pretty quick while in the dungeon. Yeah, down to Kirill. Put your um, poison dagger on and uh, take a super pot. This time I forgot to take one, but oh well, doesn't matter. Kill him, he's pretty easy to kill. I usually, I usually put my um, protect from missiles on as well because. Um, you can hit quite hard, sometimes 20, 20 or 18. Use your whip in the end, once you've run out of spe specials, special attack. And down to Ahim. Nope, he's in the tunnel. Okay, back out again. Let's go over to Vorik. Verik. Oh, set up your magic dart before you go down there too. He's not too bad. After you kill this one, I usually go down to um, Torags, the Hammer Man. Call him the Hammer Man because he's got little hammers that, uh, you know, he's got two hammers in each hand. Belt you around the head a few times. <laughs> but he, not usually, um, 
that very damaging. He, he he's usually pretty easy to kill, and yeah. Then you go. Now you notice the heads that come up on the screen every now and again. When these heads pop up on the screen, these are the dead brothers. Every time they pop up, they take ten of, ten of your prayer. So it's very hard to keep your prayer up while you're in the dungeon. Because it drains very quickly. Now this one's Guthan. Guthans, he um, he's not too bad either. Um, again, sometimes he can take a bit of health off you. If he does, he heals with the health that he takes off you. Always remember to try to keep your food up. That's an obvious thing, I suppose. <laughs> now it's down to the dungeon to um, find uh, him. Now, while I'm usually down here, I usually try to kill a few of these creatures that are down here. I usually kill a skeleton, a rat, a spider, and a blood worm. If I don't end up finding all these, I just go through the maze, or the dungeon, with all the doors and that. Some doors won't open, some doors will. you just got to find the right ones. But remember that the treasure chest is in the middle of the um, dungeon. So I always try to head to the middle. Now you come up with a puzzle thing every time you find the dungeon door. You've got to get the right puzzle correct to open the door. If you don't, the dungeon door will change. And you'll have to go all over again and find the um, right door. I don't get any more than um, 15 kills and I don't even bother trying to get more than 15. People say the more kills you get the better chance of you getting an item but I don't I don't think this is the case. Now I open the chest and he'll pop out and try to kill me because he's the last one I have to kill. Unusual for me to take some good special specials off him but Okay, he's dead now. It's time for you to um, get your loot out of your chest. Have a look in there. No, got nothing. Just got some runes. Well, better luck next time, I suppose. Okay, teleport to house. And recharge the prayer. And then um, after you've done that, teleport back to Edgenville. Uh, bank, bank your runes and um, restock with food, and start all over again. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video.